Hi, welcome back. This is part two of our displacement map. And what I'm intending to do here is use our displacement map to replace the water here in this image and the reflection. First thing I'm going to do is select my selection tool. Excuse me, my house is very noisy still. <laughs> and I'm going to select the part of the image that I'm going to duplicate and reflect down. So I want it about there. There you go. And I want to make a copy of this. So I'm going to press Control C for copy. So I've now, hopefully, made a copy. My computer's a bit busy. There you go. And I made a copy of that now. So, but before we make this copy, the first thing we need to do is extend our canvas. Um, so I'm going to go to um, image, canvas size, and I don't want it in centimeters, so I'm going to put it into percent. And I'm going to make the height 200%. Press that arrow there, so the canvas will start immediately under the image. And I'm going to click OK. My computer's, uh, there's a lot of stuff running on the computer, so give it a minute. There you go. Anyways, that being done, um, what I want to do now is create a new layer. So let's go to Layer, New Layer. I'm just going to leave it as Layer 1. That being selected, I'm going to select where I want my replacement water to go. And I'm going to fill this now with a dark blue color. I've already selected one there, which is going to be um, help with the coloring of the water when we actually go and do it. So now we need to fill that, this is a paint bucket tool, fill that with the dark blue color. My computer's uh, lagging a little bit there. Give it a second. There we go. And that's done. Okay, what we need to do now is just get rid of this get rid of the uh, the marching hand so let's deselect and what we want to do now is paste in our copied image we did earlier when we did control C and now all we need to do is do control V and that should paste that image into the uh, layers palette there a lot of stuff uh, going on here there you go and all we need to do now is flip that image so we go to image so it edits is it selected there? Something's going up here. Similar image. So I edit, transform, flip vertical. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and as you can see, that's looking pretty good. As it is, <laughs> this doesn't look like water yet. And uh, anyway, okay. That being done, um, what we need to do now is uh, down the bottom of the screen there. We're gonna. Cl I'm gonna click. Let's get the thing active there. I'm gonna click um, add the mask, and I'm gonna hold shift and click the little icon there. It should. No, I'm doing that wrong. Sorry. Control and hit the little icon there. Give me the marching ants around that bit there. Now making sure that you've got white and black selected um, as your paint color, white foreground and black as background. Find your gradient tool and we're going to bring the blue underneath through to the top. So we're just going to draw a line down there, about there. To bring some of that blue through. If the blue's too bright, we can deal with that later. Okay, that being done, what I want to do is add a bit of um, motion blur to the image. So I'm just clicking the, the thumbnail. Just above it, lock the pixels off like that. Now I want to go to um, filter, blur, motion blur. And we want it at 90, 90, the angle about 90 degrees. You can go 
really anywhere between 100 say 300 but I'm leaving it about 25 just to give it that blur effect you see that brilliant and okay that and that gives us a nice blurry effect so I, I meant between <laughs> between 20 and about 40 on the blur so it, it's about time we added the um, displacement map so layer 2 selected let's go up to um, where is it I think it's a filter. I've got to find it. Hang on. Right, anyway, yeah. Uh, take off the that lock we did earlier as well as this off. It's in filter, distort. Where is it? Oh, hang on a minute. My image is in the wrong mode. 8 bit, I want the image in. So it's good that happened, really, because that might happen to you. Anyway, filter, distort. Where is it? Displace. There it is. Now this is default. Normally defaults on 10. We want it about 50. Um, vertical scale 100. Stretch to fit. And uh, repeat edge there. And we're going to click OK. There's our um, PSD we made earlier. Our water PSD. And simply click Open. And there you go. You get a nice sort of watery effect there happening. Now we need to tone the, the blue down a little bit here. So let's um, bring up a uh, the hue and saturation palette. Just tone that, darken that down just a touch. Just playing around with it there, really. There you go. Just to give it, make it a bit more realistic. Taking that down, probably. There, maybe. Oh, too dark. Okay, looking good. And looking okay to that. So that's not looking too bad now. What I'm going to need to do is crop the image just to tidy it up a bit. There. I'm going to crop that down. And voila can do a little bit of tweaking with it. I want to keep that white sort of the way the water is sort of um, lightened up there. I'm going to keep that in the image just to make it look, look more blended. I could use a, another map and stuff to blend that in more, but I'm quite happy with that. So there you go. We've just replaced it, the water and brought that reflection out. Great stuff. Anyway, have a play with it. It takes a little bit of um, experimentation, but it's great fun. Enjoy. <laughs> 